everyone! So Mac released their newest collection, Nasty Gal, on December 4th online and in select stores. The collection featured three lipsticks and one nail lacquer. At this time, two of the three shades are still available on the US website, and all three shades are still available on the Canadian website. So if these lipsticks are something that you're interested in, you might want to go buy them before they're unavailable. Gunner is described as a deep purple with a matte finish. Runner is described as a burgundy with a matte finish. And Stunner is described as a clean red with a matte finish. The lipsticks retail for $16 US, $19 in Canada, and contain 0.10 ounces of product. Gunner is a dark blue based purple with cool undertones and a satin matte finish. The formula was lightly creamy but a tad drying when worn for an extended period of time. This shade applied smoothly, mostly opaque, and had good pigmentation, although it did require some layering for a more even coverage. Gunner wore well for 6 hours and left behind a stain. Runner is a dark burgundy with warm undertones and a satin finish. This shade applied smoothly, semi-opaque, pigmented, but lightly tugged at my lips when I was applying it which made it look uneven. Runner wore well for 6.5 hours and was lightly drying. Stunner is a medium brightened red with warm undertones and a satin matte finish. The formula was lightly creamy but a tad drying when worn for an extended period of time. This shade applied smoothly, mostly even, fully opaque, and pigmented. Stunner wore well for 6 hours and left behind a stain. So overall, I did like this collection, I do really like the lipsticks, I love the finishes of them, but two of the three shades are pretty common and easy to dupe. I mean, during this past year alone, MAC has come out with at least a handful of shades that are really similar if not spot on to these ones. Gunner, of course, was the most unique, but I can see it being a little difficult at times to wear. But even still, Gunner, of course, was my favorite of the three. So be sure to let me know in the comments below if you've checked out this collection, what your thoughts were on it, or just which shades you particularly like most. As always, don't forget to check out my blog for more details, photos, and swatches, as well as like, comment, and subscribe to show your support. If you'd like to give me a follow, all of my social media links are listed here, as well as down in the description. As I always say, I hope you found this review helpful, and I hope that you have a fantastic day, and thank you so much for watching.